which is why we had to move him over there because he says he's never going to be trapped in that corner again uh, for, because uh, the person in Jason's position had a little, had a little uh, mishap where she uh, uh, puked on her show. And then uh, – and uh, um, uh, that's the second time it's happened in Dutch Hall history. We've had two people puke on the show. Was the other one Jay? Uh, no, no. Uh, the other one was uh, also a woman. And uh, it was spaghetti puke. It was the whiskey oh, drinking no. contest. Yes, well, yes, yeah, it was a whiskey drinking contest. And then she puked spaghetti. And even there was a noodle coming out of her nose, I remember. Oh! oh. Yeah. So I think that one wins. Uh, but anyway, it's worth a checkout. Go to the end. It's funny as hell. Uh, Melissa, <laughs> Melissa Tiller on Facebook says, regarding the cuckolding clip, all of these new uh, terms for everything, uh, isn't, isn't that what swingers do? So I wanted to ask the comics here about this. Uh, you guys are younger and more world worldly. You've been around the block a few times. Sure. Cuckolding. Cuckolding. How familiar are, with, are you with it? Oh, not us. We're happily. We know what it is, though. Yeah. You know what it is. We know, we know, we know, we know what it is. Yeah. It's like a, Do I so know a cuckold myself? Can no. you say? <laughs> not, he's not outwardly a cuckold if I do know him. <laughs> well, yeah. can, a, can a girl be a cuckold? Can yeah. I, yeah. Three, if, three, three, three. Called something else, but there is like a version where the girl, where uh, where the girl like watches her guy like bang another lady. Mm -hmm. okay. That's the same thing, right? Like it's now, if you what swingers it, do or don't they swap? Yeah, I think that's Swing, a distinction yeah. between swingers. cuckolding yeah, and right? swingers. Yes. Is like, that swingers would uh, switch it up? They swap yeah, it they're up. both they're both doing they're it. Where a cuckold room, doesn't yeah. get laid, right? The Just cuckold watches. 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 That's even weirder, right? I that's thought it was when you wear a costume of like a of, no, a, of, a, of a cartoon you like. That's like oh, that's, that's like, like no, 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 those, those, those are that's furries. Those are furries. Those, those furries. furries. Yeah, furries. Yeah. but that's yeah. not even like a costume of they, furries. Like make their own. I knew thing. a couple furries. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know Jonathan James, right? Yeah. Jonathan James is a furry. Jesus. Really? He's oh, a furry? dude, he used to get <laughs> fucking like Jody. Remember Jody? Yeah. Matt Gerard's sister. Okay. okay. He get her to dress up as like fucking Pikachu or like a fox and shit like that. Uh -huh. And then he'd talk about it on stage. And the fucking, it's like another comic sister. And this other comic, everybody fucking hated him anyways. He's like adult. <laughs> but he'd be fuming. He'd be fuming. Jonathan used to have a bit about tit fucking Jody. <laughs> and then fucking Gerard would just be steaming because like everybody... <laughs> I had a joke, a roast battle joke about Matt Gerard one time because he had a weird relationship with his sister and she slept with a bunch of comics. I don't know why I'm saying this shit, but fuck him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She slept with a bunch of comics and I said, Matt Gerard, every comic in London has done the one thing you'll never be able to do. Fuck your sister. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's great. That's like gold, man. You get a present from a guy like that where it's... Oh, dude, it was beautiful. <laughs> oh, it yeah. Was the best. But yeah, he would. He loved it. The furry shit. Yeah. He'd get into it. Like, all the time he'd talk about it on stage. I, I thought you knew that about little JJ. No, I actually, yeah, I've never seen his act. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I've never seen his act. Loved it, man. That yeah. was the whole act. That yeah, was, was it? a lot of it, yeah. Yeah. I was like... He had a good chunk on it anyways. I'm not going to say it was his whole act by yeah. any means. Yeah, but he had a good chunk of it. Well, I would too if I was into it because that's what kind of is the, what makes you unique, right? Got to yeah, talk to your truth. Like, how do you get into that? Like what what goes so – I was going to say so wrong in your life that you're like, I'm going to start wearing fucking costumes. I think you're just into it. Like you're just into feet, you know? I think – yeah, yeah. <laughs> like like, uh, like not way, me, but like – like that way. Not like you just – I was at the beach. This girl, somebody took off the sandals. Feet. You know? Yeah, but so – I was watching <laughs> Pikachu. I was like, I want to be Asher right now. <laughs> Furries. I guess, right, because like even <laughs> anime <laughs> porn, I don't yeah. see like what would be, you know, attractive about that. No. But at the same time, when I was like eight, I, I was like, Ariel's hot. Yeah, when yeah. I was eight. You know what I mean? So I didn't grow up and still like think about the Little Mermaid and fucking. Trump. I got a brother-in-law. You know, snap it off. But... I got a, I got a brother-in-law. He's a big fisherman. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, he friends. loves gets girls to dress up. As no, he's a. He, I went to Disney World with them with our kids, right? And we're in the aerial thing. And he was like, he his daughter. He's like, he's only got he's got two boys and a girl. His daughter. He's kept pushing her. We gotta go. See, you want to see Ariel, right? You want to see Ariel, right? <laughs> and then. Uh, I'm like, uh, geez, man, I don't think she wants to see Ariel. She wants to ride the rides there or whatever. No, no, we're going to stay in line and see Ariel. 
And then we're at the the one play, the Little Mermaid play, where Ariel's in the he's in the like shell or whatever singing. And then uh, this guy's sitting next to me, and he turns over to me and says, "Isn't isn't Ariel hot? She's the hottest princess, right?" Like he says this. <laughs> and, and then uh, she and, doesn't even have a vagina. It's like it's fins a fish. And yeah. She's yeah. a cloaca. It's a cloaca for sure. And that's what I think is with this well, guy. But when she gets the legs, the I think fish. she gets the vagina. When she does get the guess, legs, yeah, she gets the be, vagina. Yeah, that's true. Because there's no way Eric's talking to her. Yeah. No voice. You know <laughs> no what? Vagina. Get out of get out of here. Yeah. That that should be the mo- <laughs> That should be the song she sings, not about her legs, yeah, but about the new yeah. vagina she got. You know. Ah ha ha! used to have a little fish hole. Now I got this big floppy cunt, and it's awesome. That's going to be See, the you, next don't, <laughs> you don't need Paul here. You can say cunt on your own. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be the next Disney. Yeah, maybe that's the name of this episode, Big Flabby Cunt. Is that what we have to write down? I didn't write it down. <laughs> no, I don't know if I can get away with that one on iTunes. Um, what asterisk is it for? Yeah, Big Floppy Ariel, maybe we'll call it. <laughs> uh, what was it? Okay, uh, yeah, anyways, my brother-in-law wants to fuck a fish. That's where we were. Um, There's the title. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Melissa uh, Tiller, I'm going to tell you because you've been supporting our show for a long time, and I think this is the first time we put feedback from you on air. You, Melissa, you're the listener of the week. You play it, can't you? All right. You're the listener of the week. Hi, I'm local Pine Grove celebrity Pete Van Dyke, host of the wildly successful Live from the Dutch Hall podcast. Welcome to the Live from the Dutch Hall YouTube channel. Here you can find all of our latest video episodes, as well as behind the scene footage and listener contributions. So be sure to subscribe and enjoy all the fun of Live from the Dutch Hall. Thanks for listening and watching.